Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number fourth of exercise 13.2. And the question says, if a box of sweets is divided among 24 children, they will get five sweets each. How many would get each get if the number of children is reduced by four? So before solving these kind of questions, first of all, you have to find out whether this is a question of direct proportion or indirect proportion. To find that, you have to first of all find out the number of parameters or you can say the number of uh, the, uh, the things that question is talking about. In this, there are two parameters. The first is children's and the second is the number of sweets. First of all, you have to find out whether this is a direct proportion or indirect proportion. If I increase the number of children, so the number of sweets each person will get should be increased or decreased. So clearly, if there are more children in a class, so the number of sweets they will get will be less. And if uh, suppose there are many students absent on a certain day, means the number of children are have been decreased. So clearly on that day, the number of sweets per, per, per person will get will be more. So clearly this is a direct, this is the classic example of inverse proportion where when the number of children is increased, the number of sweets per person getting is redu reduced. So here it is given that 24 children getting 5 sweets, you have to find out how many would each get. You have to find how much will each get if the number of children is reduced by 4. Now the new number of students are 20. You have to find this. So again, this can be solved by many ways. I am here explaining you the two ways of solving this same question. You have to find this value. You can write here equals to the value above this can be write, written here. Now, in the direct proportion, D for direct, we were doing divide. And in the inverse proportion, we are doing into D for direct, D for divide, I for in inverse, I for into. So here you have to multiply and you have to write this 24 upon 20 as it is. Now this can be 4 times, this be 6 times. So here the value of x will be 6. Now each person will get 6 sweets. There is another way of solving the same question. Now I am solving this by writing it. And the second method is when 24 children are there in a class, so the number of sweets each get is 5. And if one children is there, so the number of sweets each will get will be more because this is our inverse proportion where the number of children are decreased. So obviously the number of sweets will be should be increased. So this should be multiplied here. Now when the children are 20, uh, so the sweets per person must get will be less because here again the children are increasing so here the number of sweets must decrease so to de decrease we have to divide this so solving this this will be four times and this will be six so the number of sweets per person will get should be equals to six sweet per person so this is how we can solve this question if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem regarding maths, you can email us and even you can call us. The number and the email address is given in the description. Thank you.